and welcome to another episode of the Theater Professor Vidcast. My name is Terry Dana Jakimak II, and I am the Theater Professor. And this week we're continuing our journey into Autodesk's Sketchbook Pro. Now, if you're just coming in on this video, may I suggest you jump to last week's video and watch that one first, because that gives you a general rundown. This week though, we're gonna be talking about pencils and pens and brushes and all the things we can use to make things pretty. Sometimes I wish I could use those things to make my face prettier. It doesn't work though. I oftentimes take my Intuos stylus and go, mm -mm, nothing. I want to thank everybody who has continued to contribute towards the Theater Professor website because you have to understand, yes, I run this by myself, but that we have a forums. If you're not a bronze member, jump over to theaterprofessor.com, sign up for the free bronze membership, and you can check out our forums. People have been posting the things that they've been creating, and it is amazing. On another note, I'm up over 50 videos. You heard that right, 50 videos. This is good and this is bad. The good is, is that these videos are being watched and all the videos on the website are no commercials, right? Because I'm using a, uh, a company called Wistia to host those videos. Now Wistia is fabulous. I, I don't have any affiliation with them, no affiliate links or anything like that. So if you're looking to do tutorials or any types of videos uh, for business, check them out. Having said that, I have a lot of people watching my videos and suddenly the theater professor started to take off. So I am going to ask you, one of the few times that I do it, to check out our Patreon page. And I say our, I mean mine, because I run it. Uh, the Patreon page allows you to become a patron of the theater professor. What does that mean? Well, for as little as a dollar a month, you can help continue making this website run. I had to up the server costs that I had for my videos because so many people are watching them. So stop by www.thetheaterprofessor.com, check the Patreon link on the right-hand side of the, of the uh, homepage, and you know if, if you think my content is at least decent, toss a dollar my way. I would greatly appreciate it. Okay, that's enough of me talking about needing money to make this thing go. Why don't we get to what I really enjoy doing, which is the tutorial. So grab your tablet, grab your stylus, and let's get started with Sketchbook Pro. And here we are in Autodesk Sketchbook. If you watched last week's tutorial, then you have seen this. We've gone through all these menu items. This week, we're actually going to dive directly into the pen and pencil tools, which I'm really excited. We're going to play with a bunch of settings, see what we can create. Before I do that, I do want to say a thank you to our newest Patreon supporter, George Vandemark. Uh, he uh, just... Uh, just uh, supported today and I greatly appreciate it. In fact, I have some exciting news in regards to that. I'll be hopefully with that additional funding, I'm going to improve our membership uh, set up on the site to make things a little cleaner, a little easier, and a little nicer for our users to uh, to move around the site. So I'm really excited about that. Looking at moving to another membership program that's actually a for pay program rather than a free one that I am constantly having problems with. For anybody that didn't notice the other day when you went to look at uh, the posts in the forums, you probably saw that you couldn't see the first post, which usually are you know paintings that people are doing. Well, I finally figured out the problem. I fixed it, but you know it's it's that kind of stuff that I get tired of trying to fix. So if I can find something that and that is uh, easier to use, and I know this this plugin that I'm looking at getting is easier to use because I've used it before. So really excited about. So thank you, George, and of course thank you to my other supporters. You guys are wonderful, and anybody at the I believe it's ten dollar or more a month actually gets a, a digital sketch of mine each month that's specific to them. I put it up on the Patreon account. So if you want, you know, want some sort of painting from me, and uh, you know, would like to to help support us, as I said in the intro, you know where to go. Now, looking at the left-hand side, this is our tool setup, okay? This is, if you look right here, pencil, if you hover over them, airbrush, we've got marker, chisel tip pen, ballpoint pen. These are actually Copic markers down here. For anybody that's used those, it goes into synthetic brushes. Up at the top here, 
see show brush properties if we click that we'll have our brush properties now on purpose I'm on pencil because the pencil has little to no properties and I just wanted us to take a look at this before we got into it notice that the way the pencil set up you have this line right here it kind of shows us what's going on down here's an icon you can actually edit that icon and the name down here for pencil you have hardness and size so we're a 2h or a 1.1 you can adjust that with this slider here 2b 4b 6b etc there's an hb you can reset it of course and then you could save or cancel it we're gonna gonna leave it as is and we can see here now this is this is something that's a little different than say art rage or corel painter is that the quote-unquote pencil is very smooth here see that where if this was an actual pencil on paper it would have more texture this does not this is very very smooth some people like this and if you're doing like digital comics or things like that this is awesome okay so I'm, I'm not saying it's good or bad what i'm saying is it is different than other things that are uh, that are out there that are available all right looking through this if we move over here like an airbrush you're going to have different settings so here you have your size and you have your flow this is a flow of 10 percent this is a flow of a hundred percent notice how it filled in much quicker I'll click reset you can see it's you know creates this is great for shading you know if you're doing some some delicate shading you can you know change the color and things like that so come in here to like this you see how subtle but nice that is that blue just kind of hovers right over top of that black under layer of course you can change the size so here's 250 yeah <laughs> it's really big we reset all this okay you've got what we got marker next this has size and slant so you can see our slant there and you can change the the angle of your slant so now my slants this way see and then of course size size is you know it's size reset that next up we have a chisel tip pen again we have size and slant a ballpoint pen which has size and ink opacity so let's get this as big as we can so we can look at it so this is at 80 percent this is at four percent reset it next up we have a paintbrush which has size and paint opacity now the paintbrushes here are really they're digital paintbrushes okay uh, they, they don't they're not they're not trying to emulate real paintbrushes they are beautiful okay so don't don't just because I'm calling it a digital paintbrush doesn't mean it's bad it just means it's a different way of working we have this is a, a felt tip pen and this has tip hardness which is a little different Let's see there the difference is next up we have a felt pen and whoa we've been going through a whole bunch with like one or two things now suddenly we have all sorts of stuff we have size with heavy pen pressure size with light pen pressure size randomize here we can start to get that nice like textured feel now obviously I'm I'm exaggerating here right okay let me reset it opacity and opacity rent so you could randomize the opacity and the size and get some very textured feels there you can you can randomize the hue you can randomize the saturation you can randomize the brightness <laughs> Oh my gosh, it's a multicolor pen. So each time I pick up, I get a different color. And if you take and get your size up a little bit, you never know what you'll get next. <laughs> okay. Next up, we've got uh, brush advance properties. Let me close down this one, which is roundness, rotation. I mean, you can. I mean, like, you can. 
that's that's weird. Rotation. Spacing. And space randomize. Now we're getting all sorts of goofy stuff. Reset. And then you've got your brush texture. And you can um, create so different textures. Okay. Make it uh, sharp. Okay. We'll go ahead and cancel that. So that's all under this one right here. This is the felt pen. You have your eraser, size and amount erased. You have your Copic multiliner, drawing pen, etc. You've got your brushes, which have paint load with them. And if you've seen any of my uh, Art Rage tutorials, you'll know what I'm talking about when I talk about paint load. It's uh, how much paint is on the brush when you begin your stroke. And you can see how it runs out with a little paint load, but then can go much farther on a full paint load. Okay. And stays that way through all of those. And then we have some, some uh, smudgers here with strength, opacity, and size. And you're probably thinking, well, that's it, but that's not it. We have, if we click the second button up here, this one right here, this shows our brush library. And boom, we have all sorts of things. We've got smears, blurs, sharpens. We've got, if we scroll down, all tons of synthetic paint. We have traditional things right here. These are three or four different types of pencils, a hard pencil. We have texture. We have shapes, we have splatter, we have smudge. So, you know, let's go and grab one of these textures. And what types of settings do we have here? We've got, you know, all sorts of things, very similar to what we had on the felt pen, though. Okay. Okay. Now, one of the things that you can do if you want to, let me close that out, is you can actually grab tools and pull them into your bar here. So if I were to go up and say, I like doing pencil stuff, right? Pull pencil there, 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 and there. Let's go ahead and clear my layer. And now, you know, I go from this pencil, quick change to this one, another one, another one, and then finally a final one. Okay, so that is one way of doing it. Oops. Not what I meant to do. Now the one thing I can't figure out. Shame. Okay. Please quit the capture mode. Oh, okay. interesting so the capture command what it does is oh it's not empty <sighs> oh. look at that so if you capture you can actually capture what's on the screen. This is something new. I'd never played with it. I was wondering, you know, how does it, the capture work? Now, the one thing I wish you could do and that you can't is to be able to capture a larger area. Um, I wonder if you were to zoom in and I click the capture. Oops. 
Oh, okay. Well, then, then you could. So if we were to... Okay, that's fine. I know you keep telling me not to. If we were to click that off... And then I were to come down here and do a capture. There we go, it gets that corner. Interesting, so you can see the corner being captured. If I were to come in here, make this itty bitty. And we make a cross. We could come in here and there's a cross. And now when I paint, I have a cross. Well, look at that. You learn something new every single day. Okay, we're gonna reset it though, to back what it was, and then click cancel. So this is, oh, the other thing you can do with this, other than move it up like I just did right there, is you can grab here, and you can extend it. Now it does have a limit, see how it stopped there? But you could go like that, there we go. Now you have more tools. The one thing that I haven't figured out yet, and you know, maybe I'll figure it out. Oh, you can, you can go into default layout, and there we go. Oh, it did, didn't reset. I was thinking maybe it would reset my um, my tools that I had been messing with, but apparently it does not, which is fine because you know I'm setting it up like I want to set it up. The other thing is, is down here, you can actually grab some of your tools as well. See here? So not only do you have it up here, but you have it here. And you can turn that on and off. See right here, down, down left. You can turn that on and off. So if you don't want to see it, it's not there. Okay. So let's, for example, this is the airbrush, which is too big. Oops. Keep wanting to zoom in and out. Let's reduce the size of it. There we go. And we can actually we can move out a little bit because I'm I'm in a little close. There we go. So there's my airbrush. Oh, where is my airbrush? Now you're probably asking yourself, how am I doing this right here? If you right click, you get this menu. I figured I'd try a couple other things, but it doesn't seem to be the case. Okay. So there's my airbrush, and then we can come down here. So I grab my pencil. And there it is. Okay. So those are the tools. One of the tools that I didn't go over a lot, but something you should definitely look out is at the Copic pens. They're really quite nice. And if you've ever used uh, a Copic type marker before, you can see you can create some really nice looks with it okay all right that's going to be it for this week next week we'll continue on to another part of sketchbook pro i haven't mapped out next week i just knew what i wanted to get this week and we will uh we'll try and uh, you know kind of pump through this as quick as we can so that those that are looking to use this for you know for art uh, can can actually get used to it i'm really excited about this series because I do use Sketchbook as the underlayer of my renderings. It's not my final painting app, but I do do a lot of my sketching in this program. So enjoy it. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. If you're watching this on YouTube, make sure, make sure you hit the subscribe button. And if you're watching this on my website, thank you for visiting the website. I really appreciate that. That's www.thetheaterprofessor.com. All right. That's it for this week. On, uh, on, uh, on this weekend, I'm uh, on my son's birthday. So I'm, I'm going to have a party. And uh, Legos. That's all I'm going to say. Legos. All right. Take care. And my name is Terry Dana Jikimak II. And I am the theater professor. Theater professor.